Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video from Education Solutions. My name is John, and I'm going to show you how, it, how you can use Microsoft Forms in your classroom so that you can gamify your classroom and set up a live quiz with your students here. So let's switch over here to one of my uh, quizzes here from Microsoft Forms. And this is from uh, a movie, if you haven't watched it, it's called The Social Dilemma. It's about cutting out social media from your life. And uh, I had watched this over a series of a couple days with my students. And uh, we, I had them take a quiz on this one. And for, for this one here, I didn't want to release the, uh, the, the responses right away or release the answers right away for my students. So what I did instead, if you come over here, uh, I'm assuming you know how to set up your Microsoft Forms. If not, I will actually set up another video on that uh, very soon that I can link to above. So you would come over here to this part here. It's this, uh, these three dots. And on these three dots, we've got our settings. So in your settings, you can see show results automatically. If that's on, the students are going to see the results. They can see that their, their, um, their answers or the questions they got right or wrong. And if they really wanted to, I suppose they could also share that with their friends from other classes here. So I want to avoid that. So I would turn off the show results automatically. Uh, I've got this set up so anyone can respond. And what I'm going to do here, if, if, if I'm going to do this in the classroom, I'm actually going to turn off the part where it says accept responses. Okay, so there we go. So I've got the, uh, no, one, no one can actually uh, try and respond to this here. So if I were to go and look at this part here where it says present, okay, so up here at the top right hand side, we've got this button here, collect response, or you can go to present. And uh, we're going to set up a presentation here. So on here, uh, we'll actually go to our next one because I don't want my university email addresses. And uh, we've got our um, uh, questions here. So if you were to, or sorry, if your students were to actually take their smartphones out and then they tried going to this particular QR code right here, uh, it's going to bring up this thing that says that the form is currently closed. Okay, so that they can't actually go and respond to this one because I want to do this one in the classroom here. Okay, so, um, or if you really wanted to, you could have everybody respond to this on their smartphones and then you can get a poll. But I prefer to use this as a game of, uh, a chance at gamification in your classroom. And I would split my room into two parts, uh, into, into two different teams. And uh, I would bring up one person from each team and they would try to answer the question first here. So uh, this is uh, an opportunity here. If they don't know the answer, they can ask their friends to help them out here. And then once you get an answer from them, you can actually see what the correct answer was. And then we would go and hide the correct answer. And then it's up for, you'd bring the next two students up. And then we've got another question here. So this is a way that our students can check to see which uh, well, if they got something right or wrong, um, and then they can also make sure that you can see that, uh, that everybody understands this one here. So uh, the way that this would look here, if you did it the opposite direction, if I were to close this out, and I come over here to my settings, and I say accept responses, and then I go to present, all right, and with this one here, uh, if I were to go and open this part up with a QR code, now that I'm accepting the responses here, I would actually see that I've got my ability to answer these questions right here. So now on my smartphone, I've got the ability to, to kind of work together. And I can go through these and answer everybody's question right here. All right, so if I were to run through every single one, the way that would look once you're all finished is you'll see uh, the questions that everybody answers will come up right here as soon as I 
set in my last one. There we go. I'll submit my answers here. Okay, so now I've submitted my answer, so I can see who answered what question. Now, if you just want to do a complete review with your students, and then you can say who got it right, who got it wrong, you can do that. But I prefer to use this as a chance for gamification. So uh, I do really hope that, uh, that this was, in fact, useful for you. And if you have any questions at all about how I'm using Microsoft Forms in the classroom or you'd like to let me know how you're using it, please do let me know in the comments down below. So thank you all very much. Be sure to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to Education Solutions. And I will see you all in the next video. Adios.